welcome back to my channel um i'm sorry for not uploading for a while um uh, yes i don't know i i still don't like taking videos like that much so i'm like a bit shy in front of the, nervous in front of the camera but actually i don't know i feel like i don't know so i didn't do it for a while <laughs> but now i feel like i can do it again and uh I'm back. So yeah. And I'm also back in a nice like with a nice background. <laughs> so yeah. Happy summer. And let's get into the video. <clears throat> I hope you've been doing good. Um in general and during my absence. Um and uh I'm Jana, if you're new here, so enjoy. <laughs> um yeah let's just get into it um i'm gonna do the mid-year book freakout tag it's not june anymore <laughs> uh the month where the mid-year book freakout tag usually is like going on <laughs> but it's only july so i'm not that late <laughs> so yeah the best uh the, sorry uh the first first question in the tag is the best book of the year and my best book was who would have guessed not me. <laughs> um, it is kind of Monte Cristo. Um, yeah, I actually I don't know. I've told everyone that I've already read it. I mean, not really, but like I said, that it's my favorite classic, and I haven't read it before. So <laughs> bold of me to assume that uh, it would be my favorite classic. And but here we are, and it is <laughs> self fulfilling prophecy, I say. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I don't know how to summarize it for you because like maybe you know it, it's a classic and stuff but if you don't it's about a guy who seeks revenge for all the people who've done him wrong and they have done him wrong boy um they've put him in prison for 15 years for doing nothing wrong except being successful in life and uh they did that because they were jealous so uh, good for them <laughs> and good for him for taking revenge like awesome thanks so this is the book and that's what it's about like revenge <laughs> but it's yeah it's fun it's 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 how i mean that sounds strange it's fun in a way like it's 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 adventures so yeah the count of monte cristo this one a big boy um moving on from that the best sequel is the next question like what's the best sequel it's the next question in the tag and um the best sequel actually was Hellbent by Lee Badugo. I love her. Uh, she wrote my favorite series of all time, Shadow and Bone. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite series of all time. Like that would be still arrogant. Like I'm still living in that area of my life, like era of my life, <laughs> nostalgic and all. Um, but yeah, Shadow and Bone was great. And she wrote an adult series um, that's um, revolved, revolves around Alex. And I will show you the book. I have for I've forgotten. There it is. It's not the prettiest cover or something. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, some people like it, but I feel like it's a bit much. Yeah. Um, but actually, it's it's about Alex, a girl who's trying to succeed in, 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 in uh, can't speak in university. Um, but she, I don't know. Like she gets swept into occult, occult stuff um, with a secret with secret societies, and it's cool. Like the secret societies are the societies are really well written, and it's actually um, it's about Yale, Uni Yale University where Lee Badugo went actually, um, and it's, it's quite interesting. Some people have asked her if she has any experience with secret societies in Yale. I mean, they're not revolving around occults. <laughs> I assume, <laughs> but in general, I don't know. It's cool. So that's Hellbent, the second part to Nine Fouse. Nine Fouse was great too, but Hellbent was the best sequel for me this year because actually it was one of the only sequels sequels I've ever read this year. Like, I've read a few manga, but mm, not books in general. So there you go. That's Hellbent. I'm gonna be quick today because like my <laughs> my phone is out of storage, <laughs> so I don't know if I can finish this video actually. <laughs> Yes, peace, um, my life. So, quick, um, next. <laughs> um, 
Next is new releases that are coming out this year. Um, or have come out this year, like not upcoming releases, but new releases. Um, and those are like the ones I've been looking forward to. Um, our fourth wing, which I have here mm -hmm. at the bottom of the huge pile I have next to me. No, don't drop it! <clears throat> yes, there it is. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's fourth wing, like the fantasy book everyone's been talking about, like everyone that likes this kind of genre, or everyone in general, like the book, book world is a bit obsessed. Um, and I'm, I want to see what the hype is all about, so there it is. <laughs> uh, and another book I want to read is uh, Yellow Face by um, the author, I forgot her name, something Guang. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> uh, she also wrote uh, Bubble, which I didn't like. I'm sorry. I, and she also wrote the, the Poppy War, but I haven't read that. But Babel I didn't like. Like I read it in, I had it on audiobook in Denmark and it was a bit boring for me. Mm, not gonna lie, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, it's about, it's, it's about the secret, like it's about mm, Harvard, I think, Harvard University or some other secret university. And like, it should be my thing, but it isn't. Like it's a bit boring, it's about, it's about history and stuff and like uh, and magic but the magic is like really loosely adapted like it's not the best concept ever in my opinion take it as you will like but i want to read her, her, auto, her auto book <clears throat> because it's about the publishing industry uh, and uh, how bad it is sometimes <laughs> and i'm working like i don't know I, I can relate to that like i know something like i've been i've dipped my nose in and it's a bit fake. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> so that sounds interesting. Like the whole publishing thing and like book rights and stealing book rights. And it sounds just up my alley in a way. And some people said it's actually funny. So a funny book. <laughs> Those are rare. So sign me up, please. Um, but yeah. Uh, and now we're gonna, gonna go to like gonna continue to upcoming releases. I actually wanted to talk about that before, but now here we are. Um, so upcoming releases, I'm really excited about our, um, of course, <laughs> uh, Mortag by Christopher Paolini, mm, the author who wrote Aragon. Um, he he's gonna publish a book all about my favorite anti-hero, Mortag. I can't wait. Like me and my best friend, we are like, yes, give it to me. <laughs> like it's been a while, like since since the last Aragon installment um, has come out. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and a whole book about Mortag. He's like um, morally gray in the Aragon books, to say the least. But actually he's, he's really cool. And, and his own book, like awesome. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, Mortag. Really excited about that. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right because he's like he used like a fake language kind of in a way like loosely adapted or really closely adapted. How you I don't know how you want to see it um, from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> um, but we're not gonna talk about that. I like it on like I like it regardless. <laughs> um, yeah, and another upcoming release um, I'm really looking forward to is um, interesting facts about space by Emily Austin. Um, she wrote um, some, every, everyone but huh? everyone in this room will someday be dead. Yeah, that's what it was called. Um, and it was awesome. Like I read that book in Denmark, just, I don't know, I read it just because of the title, like everyone in this room will someday be dead. <laughs> yes, that's right. And it's scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was good. It was funny. And like I said, funny books are rare, so you gotta read them. Like, it's sarcastic, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's similar to the title. You just have to read it. Like, yeah, dark humor, but not too dark. That's what I like. Um, yeah, so the next question on my tag is like, what was, what, is your, what was your biggest disappointment of the year so far? Um, and that was actually like a well-beloved fa favorite. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna disappoint a few people here. Um, Legends and Lattes. Hmm. Yes, I'm gonna show it to you because the cover is nice and the book is nice. Where do I have it? Here. 
um, but I was disappointed by the, <laughs> by the book. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice cover, hardcover, because I bought it really early before the paperback version was out, just like all the other cool girlies out there. Um, <laughs> but um, look, the nice end papers, or like the beginning, yeah. Um, but anyways, um, it wasn't for me. Like, it was cozy mystery, I get that, but it was too cozy and no stakes at all. No mystery, no fantasy, no nothing. Like, cozy fantasy, not mystery, but like, no, no fantasy. Like, the fantasy was like, really like, kept to a minimum. It was just about coffee, which is cool, like, I love coffee. Don't get me started on coffee. <laughs> um, but no fantasy, so no fantasy in a fantasy book. Or no fantasy, but like loose, loose fantasy. Like it wasn't important for the story like that much. It could have been like it could have existed without the fantasy, and that's not. I don't know. Yeah, I need some fantasy in fantasy books. So that's Legends of Legends and Letters. Sorry. Yeah. Um, another disappointment. Um, I don't have it with me here, but like was Wilder Girls. I forgot the author's name. But that was quite a hype book, like, a few years back, <laughs> and I hated it. Like, Legends and Letters was, like, okay, like, I see why people like it, but Wilder Girls I hated. <laughs> um, because it was, like, about, um, it was really, really brutal, in a way, and it was about um, a pandemic, um, and people were dying, and people were killing each other, and she was like, okay, that's cool. Some girls, like, teenage girls. We can make a YA thriller out of that, like Cash, um, and they're killing each other for fun, <laughs> and there's no like there's no judgment at all, and there, there are even some scenes that are like really graphic, um, and there's a trigger warning in the back. It's all a trigger warning now. Um, that there are scenes of gas, gas, gasification, like gassing, like gas, gas, gas chambers, like similar to Second World War things. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and she was like no judgment she was like that's 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 just in there like that's what people do and the author has like some like there's some some um some see she has been like she's she has been called out for her anti-semitic um views in general so great um i don't think it's good for an author like to publish books like like that for younger audiences like teenage audience it's like was a teenage YA thriller for <sighs> so I don't like irresponsible like people are not gonna get it like some people are just gonna read it and be like oh that's fun so much violence <laughs> but still it's why like she knows it's irresponsible in general so don't read it please my warning to you and my rant is over now don't read Wilder Girls I'm gonna write it in the description. <laughs> Don't read it. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's fine. Like, I'm not gonna tell you that, but like, I feel it's a bit irresponsible to publish a book without, like, there is a trigger warning, but it's at the end, at the end. So if you're done reading it, you can see the trigger warning. So thank you for that. And I actually, um, I saw, I didn't read it, I didn't finish it because I was so confused and disturbed by, by it all. Um, and I, um, went to the last page to see if there's something like something better coming or if there's something that tells me why this is happening and there was a trigger warning it was like scenes of gas chambers I was like and molestation and all the other stuff like violence rape torture everything but in detail <laughs> thank you for that don't read it rent over don't and if you're triggered by this i'm sorry skip it like i should have said that in the beginning too <laughs> i'm sorry but don't read it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, and I said it before. So yeah, rant over. Um, yeah. Um, moving on from that, um, my new favorite author is another author that writes horror in a way, but like in a not as graphic and just like mystery and thrillery. Like she actually like she wrote a book like mirroring like the great classic Edgar Allan Poe. And That's T King for sure. Love her. She's the queen. Um, but yeah, her books are like way nicer than Wilder Girls. And uh, like they're just atmospheric and stuff. And I have like one book here um, that has like a really nice, like that's the cover, that's the book. <clears throat> it's 
pretty nice. Like it's it's a bit horror esque, but like it's the um, Edgar Allan Poe retelling. And I like this. The end papers. It's a bunny that looks a bit disturbed. <laughs> and it is it's a part of the story, so like those bunnies. Yeah. I can't tell you much more because that's a good book. I would read it. I, like I would recommend it. <laughs> And it's a re retelling of the House of Usher. Yes, that's what it was called by Edgar Allan Poe. If you've read that one. And House of Usher was great. Like, I love Edgar Allan Poe. I just love him. That dude. <laughs> he's great. He was great. But he's great, in my opinion, still. Like, his legacy lives on. Yeah, uh, moving on. Um, my new... Like, the next question in the tag is my new favorite author. Like, oh, sorry. I had that already. But my new fictional crush... Um, um, from a book I read this year, and that was um, just one person, and but like was it one person? Yeah, <laughs> one person. Um, no, actually, like my, my of course my favorite, like my most favorite person um, in the whole book universe right now is the Count of Monte Cristo. I'm really sorry, but Edmond Dantes. What? Like read it. I don't know. He's 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 just the best. He's awesome. More power, more power to him. And my cat is coming. See, she's coming because I'm seeing Edmund Dantes. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my God! You don't want to have your health? It's fine. Oh my God. Okay. She's exploring in the garden, and she. I don't know. <laughs> she's running around looking for me all the time, and I want her to be like. I don't know, independent in a way, but she's like, where's my mom? <laughs> Strange, but that's, that's, that's just how it is. Then if I'm touching her, like if I'm picking her up, she's like, no, I'm a bit bored, but picking up is like too much. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, that's my, my new favorite car, like my crush in a, kind, in a way, like, but he's cool. So yeah. And another fictional crush I had like this year in a book is, um, I don't know what he's called, like his name, I forgot, but like a guy in Children of Paradise, a book that was short, long listed, not short listed, unfortunately, because I loved it, but it was um, long listed for the Women's Prize of Fiction um, this year. And there's a guy, like he's unstable to say the least, but he's the, love, the, main, the, the main character's love interest, um, but he also treats her like really nicely. And, but he's uns like he has some issues in his personal life, but in general he's like really nice to her, and uh, that's that's cool. So I don't know what he's called, like what his name was, but that book is about right, by the way. <laughs> I liked it a lot, but it's a bit um, it's about the movie movie industry. And it mentions Pasolini, and I have, didn't know anything about him, but um, he's like an, an, a, a director who made like a bit like disturbing movies, and he died really horribly. Um, and that's kind of what this book feels like. Like it's 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 cool, it's good, but it's a bit dark <laughs> to say the least. So, but I would recommend it. It's it's a fever dream in a way. Children of Paradise. There's a guy that's cool. Yeah. Um, so what's the next tag question? Um, the next tag question, sorry, I'm reading it, <laughs> uh, is, um, yes, actually my new fave and my fave character, my favorite character and my least favorite character, which is kind of similar to the crush one. Um, but like in general, I'm gonna start with my least favorite character again, because I'm just gonna keep it quick and, um, and painless. And uh, that was like Hetty from Wilder Girls again, and you already know why I don't like this book. But I didn't like her, like the main character, Hetty, too, because she was like violent in a way I didn't like. Like she was, it was just never questioned again. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say because I'm gonna rant again. So <laughs> my most favorite character uh, was actually um, the cat, or all of the cats, and the manga uh, story of... Um, a story of seven lives, eine Geschichte von sieben Leben, in German. There you go. Look at them! <laughs> it's so pretty, it's so cute! 
it's awesome it's just what it looks like like that's i don't know like it's about a bunch of stray cats that are trying to get adopted like not no, i mean they're trying to survive not adopted <laughs> um on the streets in in tokyo i think or just in, i don't know in tokyo i think yeah um and uh they get fed like then some people like feed them get fed <laughs> it sounds wild um <laughs> some people feed them and um it's the story about what happens after that like why they're on the street like the main cat, cat like why why he's on the street and he has like that little bell he's so cute uh, um and he has been like um he had like an owner and what happened to him and stuff like that it, it is tragic and and happy in a way like it's like a lot of mangas are like that like they're sad and happy <laughs> um so yeah but it's great it's awesome i found it on um uh, on an accident like i didn't really plan to read it but i was just seeing like i saw the cover and was like <laughs> what <laughs> um what is that <laughs> and the story of seven lives like the cat has seven lives and stuff and like what is that about like what is the story behind this so i read it awesome can recommend um the next question the tag is mm, a book that made me cry um and actually and after that the book that made me happy um yeah uh, a book that made me cry was um again a story of seven lives because like i said it's happy and sad at the same time um and it made me cry like um at a few a few times so i'm a bit of i I'm, i cry easily <laughs> in general and reading books so but it's not concerned like it's i just do that it's it's what i do um like some people i don't know i feel like i like being in touch with my emotions in a way which is healthy um but that means i cry a lot sometimes when i'm sad like it helps me to get over it and if i'm reading a book that's like sad then i cry makes sense right um uh, <laughs> um and yeah um the whole series actually is like a manga series that made me cry a story of seven lives well um, the next question, like I said, is um, a book that made me happy. And that was actually a book that I don't know if you're like, not that many people are familiar with, but like I love the cover, The Lemon by S.E. Boyd. Um, that's like, a, those are the three authors that are like screenwriters and stuff, like they're, they haven't written a book before, but, and this is their first book. Um, but it's about um, the culinary scene. Uh, and it's just so funny. It's like about culinary critics and they're critic like uh, like Irish culinary critics and they're like sarcastic and bitchy and some one of them dies in the beginning and you're like what happened and he dies with like involving a lemon <laughs> a lemon and that's just peak 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 humor for me like why why a lemon what happens and it's like it, it doesn't take itself seriously um, <laughs> and it's, it actually gets a TV show which I'm like I'm really excited for that so the lemon moving on from that um a book that has like um the most most beautiful cover like the most beautiful book and i like of talking about beautiful books if if they're good like not just because of the cover but like in general if the cover is nice and and the content is nice then that's awesome um but yeah most beautiful cover so i hate my neighbors and i'm feeling self-conscious <laughs> i hate this um but yeah <clears throat> the most beautiful cover is god killer a fantasy by hannah kana hannah um i always say hannah that's the german pronunciation of hannah hannah but yeah there you go um and just the cover look at it like it's so nice it's it's fantasy and it's about gods and killing gods and stuff like like the title success suggests um but it's i don't know it's it's great it's it's a debut and uh <laughs> look at it it's really the most beautiful book like there are multiple editions of it and some of them are like decorated inside i didn't get that one because i'm <sighs> i was late <laughs> i didn't order it in, in advance um well it is what it is maybe i'll get it in the future but I don't think I can, um, but this is pretty enough. Like, 
the deer in front, like the gold all over it. Like it's just stunning. God killer. Yeah. Awesome book. Good fantasy. Like like I said, like Legends and Bloodless didn't have fantasy and this has. So if you want a good fantasy that's like easily accessible and not too complicated. It's not as it's not an epic fantasy, but it's 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 mild. It, middle of the road. Like it's oh that sounds not as good, but it's It's not the best fantasy I've ever read, to be honest with you, but it's it's one of one of the good ones. So, God Killer. Yeah. Um, the next question is like what I want to read before the, the year ends. Um, that like probably too much. <laughs> I have like my DBR is like huge. What else is new? It's a common problem. But um, I want to read all of the women's prize of fiction books. Because I haven't like I wanted to like I wanted to make a video, <laughs> but I didn't get to that in time. <laughs> because like I don't know because the books didn't arrive and because uh, I was like doing like studying and busy like I don't know busy in general. Um, but I ordered them all and they're here. I don't know I can't show it. Like the short list of books. I don't know if they're all of them. Like I think yeah. there's something missing probably. But like short list of books. Um, the Moon's Spice of Fiction, and as you well, as you maybe know, this one won. Demon Copperhead, a retelling of David Copperfield. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to read them all before the, the year ends. So yeah, those are my reading plans and Fourth Wing, obviously. And my study academia books and some books in general. <laughs> so probably too much. <laughs> but the year isn't over yet, so... There's a lot to do, a lot to read. And with that, I want to go to the next, last um, question, or just mentioning, like an honorable mention of like a community member, or two in general, like two in my case. Um, that is Alison Pages, um, who I really like. Uh, she makes like bookish videos and sometimes um, vlog style like um, uh, videos. And she's cool too. She has migraines sometimes and she's autistic too. And uh, I've been told by my parents and in general that I'm autistic in a way, but like I have no diagnosis and I want to get a diagnosis, but like oh, that's so expensive and so complicated to get that. So yes, awesome. Um, but she's cool. She's in general like a very cool and strong person and I really like watching her videos. So Edison Pages and the other one is um, Carrie Can Read. Um, a Korean American, like she's living in Korea right now um, with her husband um, and she makes book videos and she's just in general like I love her book recommendations and uh, we don't have the same taste that's what I've noticed <laughs> like the book she reads I actually sometimes I hate <laughs> um, I think she, she talked about how to lose the time war or the Carol series and I didn't like that like I started the Carol series, wasn't that interested because it was too youngish in a way to read. Like didn't read sophisticated enough. Like I read the Count of Monte Cristo. No, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. Um, but um, I didn't like it just in general. But she's she has like she reads so much. Like she reads I think sixteen books a month. Month, and I'm like what? I want to have that kind of time. Like she's a bit older than me. She's in the thirties. But still, maybe I have time in my 30s like that. Like, I hope, I, now I'm, I don't have that much time, so, or poor time management, probably. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she reads about 16 books sometimes a month. And it's always cool to see, to watch her videos and like, see what she thinks about them. So, yeah, Edison Pages and Carrie Can Read. They're both great. And I'm going to link their channel in the, in the description down below. <clears throat> and with that... I hope I haven't, I didn't ramble as much like I usually do when I hear my neighbor again. So I'm gonna finish this up quickly. <laughs> so annoying. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm gonna leave you and uh, hope you're having a good day, a good rest of the year. And whenever my next video is coming out, until then, see you. <laughs>